Hey folks, Jihondo here, and welcome to the finale of Surviving Mars. And the reason I say finale is I'm basically just going to be running the game... Oh, I'm going to speed it up here. I'm just going to be running the game uh, basically until we complete the terraforming, so I can put down the capital city. Um, at this point, the game is offering absolutely zero challenge whatsoever, and frankly, I'm thinking it's going to be kind of boring to sit here and produce however many episodes it takes because I have to, you know, basically send a couple of days in between each of the rockets to do the vegetation. So it's basically going to be really boring. So I'm just going to go ahead and run all this off camera or maybe I'll put it on camera and time lapse it. I haven't decided. It depends on just how long it takes. As you can see, it's about five in the morning now. I have no idea how long this is going to take to run out. Um, but either way, I'm going to take care of that because um, I don't want to you know, produce too much boring content. I'm already getting a lot of dislikes on some of these as it is, and I'm assuming it's because people are finding it boring. So either way, I'm wrapping this series up, so I hope you have enjoyed, and I'm going to either time lapse it or jump to when we put down the capital city. Either way, have a good one, folks. Milestone achieved. Right, there we are. That will take a bit to build, but uh, that's what I would call victory. Funding received. Research complete. So that took about two hours. I started it just after five and it's now just shy of seven, so about two hours. I wasn't paying attention how many souls that was, but my guess would be about 50, maybe 80, somewhere in that neighborhood. I don't actually remember what number I was on. I guess it doesn't really matter, but either way, that was a thoroughly enjoyable game. It did get a little bit too easy quite a while ago, and that was one of the main reasons I wanted to accelerate here, but still it was definitely worth playing. I just couldn't believe how many of the um, magnetic field generators I ended up having to build, like this is kind of nuts. Like I thought I had about half that many and I thought that was going to be enough, but not even close. And the other thing I found kind of weird is none of the rivals ever did any of these. Like I can see they wouldn't have done the terraforming ones, but you no, know, they didn't even try, you know, the colonist ones or 
sponsor goals or what have you, which is kind of weird. And yeah, when this city is done, we have officially completed all of them as well. Very cool. Uh, because I'm not sure if I'm going to time lapse it or if I'm just going to cut to it, I ended up putting in quite a few more of the carbonate processors to do the atmosphere and one of these core heat convectors to drastically speed up the heating. Um, basically, quintupled it. And I've just been basically blitzing through all the research, even though I don't need most of it, it's of absolutely no use. It just gave me something to do when spending money on outsourcing, because frankly, what else am I going to do with it? Like, there's no, you don't need it, right? Like, <laughs> no active research. Well, there you go. And yeah, that's about asteroids, but I'm not going to be getting into that because we are complete. And I guess that. Achievement doesn't count the DLC stuff, which makes sense because they wouldn't know for sure if you had the DLC or not, so. I did skip the funding ones, or like the repeatable ones. I didn't see a point in doing them, but oh sure, just go ahead. Do something. Great. <laughs> I just want to see this city built, and that's going to be that. Not sure why I picked this exact spot for where the capital city was going to go, but I thought this was a nice little plateau. It's kind of near the large area, but I mean, I probably should have put it over here where most of the colony was, but this seemed like a nice little plateau to work from, so I went with it. About 30 more of each. Well, that shouldn't take too much longer. The shuttle should be dragging a lot of stuff at a time across. And they're not really all that busy, let's be honest. So. Research complete. And for quite a while, some of these hubs have been complaining about, excuse me, these domes have been complaining about overpopulation. I really stopped paying attention to them. I really was just pushing to get this part done. I'm Research complete. not going to be continuing, so there's no real need to worry about that. Auto saves have been taking forever because so obviously there's so much happening. Let's have a, once this rocket goes, let's have a we look at the planet here. It's looking very, very nice. Very green. There's still a little bit here and there that isn't, but mostly it's done. As is evidenced by these, basically half done and pretty much done. Water's been done for quite a while, so. Yeah, so I ended up building a drone hub here. I could probably use a few more drones, but nah, I can't be bothered to buy more or build more. These 25 should easily be able to finish this off. Basically just one more of each. And then the building time. Research. Research complete.
Yeah, it's quite weird having no actual dome. But that's the whole point, they don't need it anymore. Research complete. Milestone achieved. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I really don't need any of these, but anyway, I'm going to call that there for this episode and for the series. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please leave a like and a comment. And do let me know your thoughts. I'm not sure when or if there's going to be a Season 3. It, I don't know if there even is going to be one, let alone what it might be. Uh, if you do want to see a Season 3, do leave a comment and maybe some suggestion as to what you'd like to see. Obviously, the terraforming is completely done, but there are plenty of other uh, sponsors. We could do one of them, or maybe you want to see something funny and weird like a bio-robots only, or maybe get into the underground stuff and the asteroid stuff. I'm not sure. Either way, though, I'm definitely going to call things there for, for this episode and the series. So thank you very much for watching again, and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one. See ya.